Hi. Doing some inventory. Let's get it done. Our lovely workspace. Hey. No. You dropped the valuable. No. I got it. We might uh we might actually do something about this today. No promises, but we need to get started. Oh gosh. You're dropping money, Melinda. Oh, How no. dare you? Oh no. This reminds me of old westerns when there's a mule carrying a heavy load up a mountain. But instead of a mule, it's my beautiful wife. I should have not said anything. Be careful up there. So, there you go. Do you want to introduce us? Well, my name is Mel. I'm one half of Hustle and Hooks. Uh, behind the camera is my sweet mule calling <laughs> husband, Adine. That's me. And I know what to say, ladies. Right. I know what to say, when to say it, <laughs> every single time. So going up to the loft, we have, we've been busy. It's been a uh, busy morning. Let me get your leftovers, sweetheart. How could she drop such a beautiful brand new Teva shoe? Oh, this, those are nice. These are nice. All right, let's get up here. I'm trying to lose them so I get to keep them. I don't, I don't know your size. You should keep them anyways. They're like worth a lot of money. They're worth a lot of money. All right, so you can see that the loft is semi-organized. The lighting isn't the best in here, but let me turn this camera around. Today is a good day. So today we're going to do some thrifting, some organizing. We're going to pull some sales. Um, if you guys are curious about our sales, then of course check out our weekly installment of what's sold. It's those premiere Monday nights. Today is going to be a fun day. Monday and I are going to go out thrifting. And uh, we're going to do some stuff to uh, increase our sales. So let's let's get started. So here's the uh, the shoe loft. Here are all of the shoes. We've been busy this morning. We've listed close to 20 pairs this morning and uh, we're kind of running out of inventory that's ready to list so we're gonna have to clean some shoes at some point but we got all of these racks on Amazon. I don't remember what they cost. I think they were like 40 a pop. They're pretty good for shoes for sure. Um, you can see that we've started taking some suggestions too. Somebody suggested inverting the shoes um, so we can fit more. We're still learning, we're still getting better at organizing, but we're pretty happy with it and uh, we'll pull a couple of pairs that's sold as well. As far as organizing right now, we don't have any of these labeled. When we first got them up, it was just all shoes everywhere and it was pretty hard to find things when we came up because it was just going rack by rack looking for them. So what I started doing is color coding them. I, I noticed that. Yeah, I did that with my personal closet. So yeah, it well, just seems like an easier way. At least you know yeah. which rack to find it on that way. So reds, orange, yellows, blues, greens. Yeah, boots, browns. I tried to keep the very light shoes where the, oh, nice. where the most sun exposure was going to be. So there's less fading. Yeah, good idea. So, and I'm still pulling in everything. Obviously, the most shoes are like browns and blacks. Yeah. And then here and there as I have time, I've started putting, trying to keep, you know, like hiking shoes together. Uh, with the browns and blacks and things like that. So work in progress. Yeah, we're gonna get these organized We'll pull the, some that sold and then we're gonna hit the road. We did get more racking in So we have more of these shoe racks. These are what they are. You can buy them off of uh, Amazon We don't have a link referral link yet. We're still working on that And then these are some more tubs that we ordered also off of Amazon that we're gonna get into uh, close into so Right now we have just a couple of big tubs of shoes, I'm sorry, clothes up here. And then some of these vintage electronics. I got these for free. Um, they're good for retro gaming, so I posted them on Facebook Marketplace. They both work. And then that's surround sound. I also posted locally first. And if they don't sell locally, then we'll put them on eBay and ship them. Uh, let's go pull what we sold. So we also have some shoes that sold that we're pulling for packing. Uh, we sold these Merrells, size 12. We've actually had these in our store for a while, but shoe season. So they sold for 32. 
these vintage Tommy shoes. Very sweet. We've also had these for a little bit, but we paid less than a dollar for them up north at our honey hole. So those sold for 30. And then these new with tag sketchers sold. These are awesome. Someone got a deal. Sell the tags for 75 new, but we sold them for 39. And then these Keens, I just listed these yesterday and I cross listed them to Facebook Marketplace and they sold overnight within a couple hours for 36. So those are going out the door as well. We also have some non-shoe sales for sure. Those are some really good ones from yesterday. We're going to pull those, get them packed, but right now we're going to go out and shop. Hey look, FedEx brought us some stuff. Most likely bubble wrap and I don't know what the other one is. Probably craft paper. Sweet. So we're going to go try to find some money. Uh, there's a few Goodwills that are relatively close to our location, so we're going to head up those first, and then we'll see, and we'll venture out as well. Oh, hey, Mona, thanks for joining us. Anytime. And then um, we're going to go and pick some stuff up, too, from Facebook Marketplace. I made three deals, one for a non-working Nintendo GameCube, some pots and pans, of course, and then a Sony 5-disc player with remote, which is fantastic. So let's go out and see what kind of deals we can find and make some cash. We also wanted to thank everybody for dropping their store names. At some point in this video, we are going to compile that list of everybody who dropped their name and then pick who we're gonna be shopping from. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime though, if you haven't watched that video, go back to it, check the comments, and just give each other some support. Shop each other. That's what we do when we're looking for stuff. We'll check out other resellers as well, just to, you know, pull together as a community and give each other some support. Also, shout out to this, 65, middle of March? It's not bad for Michigan. Where are we? Is this Florida? This is not Florida. There's no snakes, alligators, giants, crocodiles. That's false. We dinosaurs. What we, do they have? We have snakes. They have dinosaurs. They have stuff that nobody should have. Hey, look. Somewhere we can go to make money. They also have expensive Goodwills. Ah, uh, no. Oh, well, there's some new carts. We'll check those out. Another day closer to freedom, my friends. We'll show you some of the highlights. That was, uh, I don't know, we were in there for 20 minutes or so, spent 70 bucks. Yeah, we know what we're doing, we think. We think. Looks like it might rain, which is okay. I love a good spring rain. Oh, for sure. Is it spring? Technically? Yeah, kind of? Yeah, but... Maybe? Oh, oh. No room. Sweet. We sold these before in a different colorway. Yeah, I picked them up. They need to be glued up front. There's a little bit of separation, but no big deal. And those are some returns and stuff. Yeah, there's room. Let's just, uh, you want to just pull out a couple examples here and yeah, let's show what we got. These were on the new part. So we got one CD player, looks like, yep. for 10 bucks. Yep, sells well. Another one that's upside down. The VHS player. These were, um, so these were on a new car when we walked in. I just beelined right to it because they are really busy in there today. Uh, luckily, the other lady who was at the new carts was only interested in the forks that were there. <laughs> so I switched these up. Yep. Then I found a steamer there as well for five bucks. These usually sell for like 30 plus shipping. We've sold this before. Uh, a Hello Kitty radio. Yeah, we've sold this one before really, really fast for $60. This one, we're going to have to test first because it's missing the antenna. Uh, it also doesn't have a cord, but we do have spare cords at home, so we're not too worried about that. Yeah, look out for Hello Kitty stuff. It has a really good following for sure. And then a couple of vintage items. This is a, a vintage electric ice cream maker that's like a churning machine so that's pretty sweet mona looked it up it should sell for about 60. yeah we'll have to test that one make some ice cream and then a vintage percolator which we've done well uh with what was this one worth do you know oh maybe 40, between 40 50. 
40, 50, okay. Yep. A book for Jesse and another. Hand mixer that sells. These always sell well for us. Yeah, they're usually like 35 shipped or so. Anyways, we're gonna pack this up, head to the next one. Okay, so while we're on our way to the next Goodwill, we thought we'd answer a question from a viewer on one of our videos. And one is from Reseller Studio. Hello, thanks for the bids. What is your Facebook Marketplace cross-listing workflow process? Thank you. So our cross-listing process is pretty straightforward. We currently don't use an app or an assistant right now. We just do all the cross-posting manually and we cross post to Poshmark and now Facebook Marketplace. So what that looks like is we will first do our listing in eBay, that's our primary source. And then once our description is done, we will copy everything that's in that description area, including the title, because eBay auto populates that title again above the description. And then when we're going into the other apps, we just load the photos, we fill in the questions that they ask for, you know, size and everything over again on the drop down menus. And then we copy paste that description into both the description areas and the title area. And then the title area, we just delete everything we don't need and modify it, modify the, that title if needed to fit the space provided. So we hope that helps. Uh, we actually also got a, another shoe sale while we were in the Goodwill and we listed it this morning and it's sold and it they don't have the inserts. It's a great shoe, but we normally don't pick them up without inserts, but the condition was amazing. They didn't have them, somebody just got a really good deal. And a lot of professional runners or serious runners will use their own inserts anyway, so they just got a really good deal on a good shoe. So another reminder, I know we mentioned it on our last video, but get those shoes up. It is shoe season, especially athletic shoes. Hey look, a Goodwill. Oh, and we made it. damaged antenna if it works it should still sell for about 40 plus shipping paid for a Wolfgang Puck it's probably 30 shipped for this guy and I know we said no more glass but these sell really well for us and it's a really big size I'm not sure what they go for but it's a made in USA for six bucks we might even try to flip it locally looks like some shoes of course some Nikes these are like 30 shipped nothing special some golf shoes some Crocs Asics and what are those called down there Skechers 30 Skechers yeah nice and then another one of these, this isn't the Pro 11, but this complete is still worth like 80 plus shipping. So we'll see if it makes sense to part it out or not. I'm not certain where that cut off because we ran out of memory space, so I'll have to check back and see. But anyways, we're going to head on to the next Goodwill and then we have two Facebook Marketplace porch pickups. I'll show you those as we get there. That's me. dog hi dog these are just uh, pots and pans nothing special it's three where can we fit it all three fiber wares with lids that's fine 
so three Faberware with lids for 10 bucks. They're worth like 15 to 20 each, but most likely we'll just wait and lot them up with more. So on to the next pickup, or if we find a thrift store between the next one and this one, then we'll just go there first. So there's the next stop. This is, uh, I scored those blow modes here a little while ago. They usually have pretty good stuff. Looks like clothing is 50% off. We'll see if they have anything good. We'll, uh, we'll show you. Let's go find some stuff to flip for money on the internet. Do I have to social distance from you? I think so. Nice VCR, what they want, what it's actually worth with the remote, which is about 30. Same with this one, it's not worth 30. Same with this one, they want 60. That's actually what it's worth. This model isn't anything special. That's a lot. There's one though. So far, we found this toaster for 15 bucks. It's a vintage one with this like wood grain on it. They sell for about 50 plus shipping. And Mona found some sort of clothing piece. Not sure what it is. Looks like it's something made out of llama. What is this thing? They call that a sweater a in swe America. Oh, a sw oh, this Svetek? is... How do you pronounce it? Sweater? Oh, and it's something for Jesse, I assume? Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. This is totally for Jessica. Right. I, this reminds me of, of old dentist's office. I used to play with these I, things. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, pretty pick through. I saw a, bunch, a few VCRs and DVD combo units, but they're all literally eBay prices. What can you do? Oh yeah, I think we need one. Yeah, is it time? This might be worth something. Let's look it up. Hmm. 25 for sale, 7 sold, only 1 used, yeah, we're going to pass on that. find Super Mario over there, but he's uh, he's missing a hand. It might be one of those that we sold that, that carries the boat. So just try a little Tyke's boat truck. But then it's missing the actual boat part, remember? Yeah, we sold that before. Okay, we made it home. This is everything we got today. So we got four large totes, some electronics, some stuff in boxes. Melinda is right there. Yeah, not bad for a day. We'll pull out some of the highlights, a couple of the things that will be big hitters. And then we're going to pick the two people whose stores we are going to shop from. You'll have to forgive us. We're still, oh, there she is. Let me, let's try it this way. You'll have to forgive us. We're still new to this whole vlogging filming thing. So our camera battery died. So we didn't get to show you the last trip and the last marketplace pickup that we got. So we're going to show you that right here.
So we picked up this. It's a Hamilton Beach. It's a double sandwich maker. Now we've picked up a few of the single sandwich makers without the boxes and they've been selling for about $28, $29 a piece shipped. So we paid seven for this. I would imagine we're probably going to get it about 40 uh, without looking up comps off my head. Yeah, and that one is brand new sealed, which is pretty rare to find things that are still brand new. When we find brand new things, we we do pop open the tape and peek inside and take a picture, and then we just tape it closed, and we still call it brand new. We just want to verify there's not a brick in there, so we know for sure what it is. And then, this was on a new cart at the last Goodwill we went to. It's a Farberware electric skillet. It still has all the paperwork and everything. That's a good find. It's also a bigger skillet. It's about... 12 inches so that should sell we picked it up for six and that should go for about fifty dollars or so and then the last one i found on facebook marketplace it's another sony five disc carousel we've sold several of these usually they go for about 100 shipped this specific model we've seen comps anywhere from 40 to 60 plus shipping this one does have the remote obviously we have to test it um, it should go for about $100 shipped, and these will ship for about $50 to $25, depending on where they're going. So we're going to go ahead and go over, get a random generator going, and pick the two people who shop, whose stores we're going to shop from. Not sure how this will look on the big screen, but basically we went to commentpicker.com, and we typed in the URL of that video, and it, we should be able to just uh, get your YouTube comments. See what happens. First time doing this. 200, 300, 387 comments. Great. Um, okay. Now do we, you know, you gotta go down. Let's just, that's pulling the comments and then start raffle. Okay, we'll start, start. Oh, sweet. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, looks like Misty Sprouse. Misty Sprouse says, learned lots from your pots and pans video. My store is, is Burnt Mill Resellers. So you are number one. So we're going to shop you. Take a picture of you so we know. And then we're going to do it again. And... Philip LeBron. Did he just leave a comment? Oh, well, looks like he just left it. I like it. He kept it nice and short, just right. the name of the store. So, Philip LeBron, we're going to shop you as well. All right, so those two were picked randomly. We're going to shop you guys, and then in the next video, we'll show everyone what we found, and we'll check out your store. Yeah, congrats to Misty and Philip. Also, we had a lot of fun today. We just got to go around thrifting random thrift stores. It was, it was sort of time. an impromptu decision to do that today. We hope you had fun following us along. And if you liked this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Yeah, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.